Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in our previous video, we learned how to install macOS Sonoma on VMware on a Windows PC. So in today's video, we will learn how to install macOS Sonoma on VirtualBox on a Windows PC. So the first step is to check if virtualization is enabled on your system. So simply go to your task manager and go to performance and check if it's enabled. If it isn't, you can simply use this guide that will help you enable virtualization the next step is to download virtualbox so simply go to google and search virtualbox download and you can download it from the official website simply click on this windows host and you can install it so i have already installed it so i'm skipping the step the next step is to download the virtualbox extension pack simply click here and click open simply click reinstall agree to the terms and conditions and you are done So you can simply close this. The next step is to download the macOS Sonoma ISO file. So I have uh, shared all the links in the video description below. So you can simply go to these links. You can either use Google Drive or the media file link and download the macOS Sonoma ISO file. So once everything is ready, you simply open VirtualBox and click on new. Make sure it is in the expert mode enter the name so for my machine i am keeping it mac os 14 make sure the type and version are as shown in the video so you can increase the under hardware you can increase the base memory you can also increase the processors to 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 so for my case i am keeping it one you can increase the hard disk to anything above 40 gbs so I'm keeping it anything about 40 GBs. So once done, you can simply click finish. Now simply click on settings, go to system and uncheck the floppy disk. And the processors, as I have told before, you can keep it anything you like. I'm keeping it one as there are times we face issues with the boot. Increase the video memory to the maximum availability. Under storage, click on this empty icon and click on this blue disk and select choose the disk and simply upload the file that we have downloaded, the ISO file. Under USB, select 3.0 and click OK. So once your machine is complete, simply close your virtual box. Now go to my website and this URL and simply click on this link so you will see a set of codes these are the virtual box codes for macOS Sonoma simply copy them open your notepad and paste them so you have to now replace this VM name with the name of your virtual machine so for uh, in our case it's macOS 14 so simply click replace in the first tag write this and then mac os 14 and click replace all now close this and copy all these codes now click on start type in cmd right click on it and click as run as administrator so now simply press ctrl v and paste all these codes so make sure uh, there are no errors once done simply close this close your notepad and again open your virtual box so now your machine is ready and simply click start. So this will take around two to three minutes to boot up. So you will see a set of codes running. So you can simply ignore them. Now we have to wait for the Apple icon. So do not panic, you can simply ignore these codes that are running in the background. All we have to do is wait for the Apple icon. So 
So we have successfully booted into our Mac OS installation process. Now simply click on English and click on the arrow. <coughs> now go to disk utility, click continue. Click on this VBox hardware, hard disk media and click on erase and type in your name. So for my case, I'm keeping it techrichard.com. Keep the same format and schema and click erase. <coughs> Once complete, click done and close your disk utility. Now simply click on install macOS 14 beta and click on continue. Click continue again. Accept the terms and conditions, click on agree. Select your hard disk that you recently created and click continue. Now this process will take around 40 to 50 minutes. So during that time, your virtual machine might start a several times. So you don't have to panic, simply leave it as it is. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you face any issues, you can comment down below and do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.